Hello students. Today, in your ratio analysis, we'll solve the next problem. Let's see the problem. The following are the summarized profit and loss account of Hind Pro Products Limited for the year ending 31st March 2020 and balance sheet as on that date. Okay, see the this is the trading account. Okay, to opening stock 99500. To purchases 5,45,250 to incidental expenses that is the direct expense like wages, freight, octroy, uh, incidental expenses could have direct expenses. Then sales is given 8,50,000. Then by closing stock is given 1,49,000. Okay, the gross profit is 3,40,000, isn't it? Then see the profit and loss account operating expenses. This is the operating expenses. Whatever operating expenses is given, see here. First one, selling and distributional expenses, 30,000. Administration expense, 1,50,000. Finance expense, 15,000. Then given not operating expenses, that is non-operating expenses, loss on sale of shares, that is 4,000, only one. Then non-operating income is given, interest on profit on sale of shares, Sorry, first one interest 3000. Then profit on sale of shares. This is together. Profit on sale of shares is 6000. Clear? So the total is 9000. The net profit is 150,000. Clear? This is the profit and loss account. Then let's see the balance sheet. Balance sheet as on 31st March 2020. Liabilities and assets are given. Equity shares are there. That is rupees 10 each. 2 lakh. Here 20,000 equity shares of rupees 10 each. 2 lakh. Reserves is given 90,000. Current liabilities 1 lakh 30,000. Total of current liabilities are given. Yaw dunta kodila credit arts are bills payable. Bank overdraft and nothing is given. Just current liabilities is given like 1 lakh 30,000. Okay, then profit and loss account is given 60,000. Why this is useful? To find out the shareholders fund. Either it is to be kalva. Except this. Remembering. Then see the assets. That is land and building, plant and machinery, stock. Stock, traders and cash. These are current assets. All others are fixed assets. This 4,80,000 we are using for the total tangible assets. Because here uh, no any intangible assets are given. Clear? So let's see what and all we have to calculate now. So first one gross profit ratio, then net profit ratio. What is the formula for gross profit ratio? Gross profit divided by net sales. Isn't it? Net profit ratio, operating ratio, current ratio which is also known as working capital ratio. You should not forget that. Then quick ratio or acidist ratio that is liquid ratio. Okay. Proprietary ratio. So the six ratios you have to calculate okay let's start first one gross profit ratio see here where is the gross profit 340000 where is the sales net sale and the total sale cash sale matha credit sale and total maadi heltave now net sale anthe heli illi yavudu you know cash a credit a en kodilla this is total sales that is 850000 so hegide namma formula hega akbeku see here Gross profit divided by net sales into 100. Sorry, 340,000 divided by 850,000 into 100. That is 0.4 is to 1 or 40%. Very simple. Next, we'll solve the what a net, net profit ratio. That is net profit after tax divided by net sales into 100. So, net profit a little. See here, the net profit is how much? 1,50,000. Two net profit one lakh fifty thousand. So let's write here one lakh fifty thousand divided by the same net sales which we have taken from the trading account that is eight lakh fifty thousand. So into hundred you will get point one seven six is to one. Point one six seven six is to one or seventeen point six five percent. Pratyondanu nivu calculate madi madveku. I have cross checked still you have to do the calculation and then write in your notes. Okay. Third one, what you have to calculate? 
operating ratio what is this operating ratio see here the formula cost of goods sold plus operating expenses divided by net sales into 100 cost of goods sold we have to find out operating expenses is given here see here two operating expenses so the total of this three thirty thousand one lakh fifty thousand and fifteen thousand okay one lakh ninety five thousand will come that is operating expenses okay then what is this um, cost of goods sold opening stock plus purchases plus direct expenses minus closing stock clear it more plus sir uh, and this one is minus that is called cost of goods sold so in in my bekiga cost of goods sold find out my beko then you have to total the operating expenses then you have to divide the both by the net sales that is eight lakh fifty thousand clear let's see see here cost of goods sold is equal to opening stock plus purchases plus direct expenses minus closing stock that is 99,500 plus 545,250 plus 14,250 that is incidental expenses something minus 149,000 that is closing stock you will get the answer 510,000 this is cost of goods sold okay now see the uh, formula that is 510,000 you know cost of goods sold you now find out okay now operating expenses only in the non heli delva profit and loss account only starting a little bit there are two operating expenses and the more got to the selling expenses finance expenses and the administration uh expenses how the law yes this three okay so then more and total money plus five lakh ten thousand money that you will get seven lakh five thousand divide by eight lakh fifty thousand okay this is the ratio and this is the percentage next one current ratio very simple current ratio you know in quote the information uh, balance sheet see the balance sheet here stock debtors cash at bank cash and bank okay one lakh forty nine thousand seventy one thousand and thirty thousand divide by how do current liabilities that is one lakh thirty thousand clear so that one you will get like this two lakh fifty thousand divided by one lakh thirty thousand the ratio is this one one point nine two is to one and one ninety two point three one percent is the percentage clear then see the next one quick ratio in you know the liquid ratio or else acid test ratio liquid assets divided by liquid liabilities into hundred 71,000, 30,000. Okay, what is this? This is 1 lakh 49,000. Stock. Sarelva, stock we should not add in the liquid assets. That's it. All others are same. That is 1 lakh 1,000 divided by 1 lakh 30,000. 0.78 is to 1. Or 77.69 percent. Clear? Next one. Proprietary ratio. What is proprietary ratio? Shareholders fund divided by total tangible asset. Agle hai the total tangible asset and reno. Ali goodwill illa da karana. Atava bere yawda the preliminary expenses. Hinta di yawda koda da karana. Fictitious asset yawda illa da karana. The total of the asset side is called as total tangible assets. Clear? So what is shareholders fund? That also I have said. Which one? See here. Equity share reserves and profit and loss account these three are the shareholders fund except the current liabilities so is more no total money you have to write in the shareholders fund and what is the total tangible assets this four lakh eighty thousand yavaglu total the cold very good will it than less mad veku only they have said as it is hege total tangible asset and the heli there so tangible assets yav the other total and no mad veku so see here, shareholders fund yaw the hell 2 lakh plus 90,000 plus 60,000. The total is 3 lakh 50,000. Divide it by 4 lakh 80,000, you will get 0.73 to 1 or 72.92%. Okay, thank you for watching.